There we go. Draining farmer's cheese. I'm gonna let it go ahead and drain for as long as I want. I usually let it drain for two hours at room temperature and then put it in the fridge for a few hours. However, the less time you let it drain, the higher moisture the cheese will be. So if you would like a light, fluffy, high moisture cheese, you could drain this for as little as 30 minutes. If you want something extra firm and dense, almost like a spreadable cream cheese density, then let it drain longer on the order of several hours to overnight. Um, as I have maybe showed you before, an easy way to save on space and have your cheese continue to drain is to just take the corners of the cheesecloth and knot them together. Like this. And this little pouch of draining delight can hang, could push a, put a um, long spoon through this loop and suspend it over a large pot. A really funny way you could have this cheese drain is you could go and hook it on a branch of a tree outside. You don't have to worry about occupying your sink or taking up a huge amount of space in the refrigerator. I would say maybe don't let your cheese hang out outside of the fridge for more than, more than about five hours, if you wanna have a longer shelf life. If you're going to be eating the cheese pretty soon, don't worry about it. Let it drain outside of the fridge for longer. So here we go, draining starts. See you in a few hours. Beautiful. I also like to supply a knife per cheese. And this will just all, this will all get very messy very quickly, but you know, we yeah. tried. So yeah, yeah. Cause what happens is somebody, somebody cuts into a, a brie and then they cut into a blue and oh, then they cut into the sweet. cheddar and yeah. you end up with this yeah you know yeah yeah barnacle of, of yeah. cheese on yeah, here yeah. so but we're going to try our best to keep it separate at least in this